Hey guys, in order to thank you all for the recent support on my channel, I'm giving away four $10 iTunes gift cards. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and click the bell button on the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload new videos. The winners will be picked at the end of this month, but in order to drastically increase your chances of winning this giveaway, all you have to do is stay active on my channel by watching all of my new videos from start to end, liking them, sharing them, and of course commenting down below. So be sure to do all of those things if you want a much better chance to bring this giveaway in good luck yo what is going on guys my name is nation and welcome to a brand new clash royale video on my channel i need to start off this video by shouting out a complete legend guys and giving you an update on how i've been doing in clash royale so basically what happened was on my last video which got an insane amount of support by the way guys we got like 120 likes i just want to say thank you for that but basically what happened was someone named Monty, which i've talked to in the past on discord and such really cool person anyway he asked me if I wanted his Clash Royale account, which is level 10, Arena 10, and it has all of the cards in the game besides three. And I just said yes. I was like, yo, if you want to give it to me, I'll take it. And I am so happy I have this now because I can make so many more great videos for you guys on Clash Royale. I want everyone watching this video to spam Monty in the comment section below. You can say like Monty's a legend or something like that, a boss, I don't know, whatever you want to say to say something good because he is the reason that I can actually do really well in Clash Royale now. I'm still getting used to all of this stuff, but yo, I'm looking forward to making such good videos now. So yeah, just make sure to definitely comment down below. Don't forget to do that. And also guys, I have made an official Clash Royale clan for fans to join. The name is Nation Clan, so make sure to join that if you're over a 2,000 rank in trophies. Like, we want as many members as possible. We want it to fill up. Obviously, the maximum is 50, so, yo, you gotta join quick. You gotta join quick. And we want this clan to be OP, so if you're active and you're a good player, definitely make sure to join. It is a yellow crown in a red background as its symbol. Okay, so now I'll show you guys all of my decks. I am a very new player, guys. I just literally started on this account two days ago. So I'm really getting used to all of the cards. From going to Arena 4 to Arena 10 is a big stretch, guys. I hope you can understand if I'm not very good yet. But I promise I will improve. But this is the current deck that I made all by myself, guys. Without any influence from any other people or online decks. I don't know. Anything you can research obviously and then i have this lumberjack deck which i got some help with making and then this deck over here which is like the graveyard deck so this one i think is pretty good right now i'm using this for most of my matches as you can see this is all of my cards right here these are all of them and i am missing just three cards but i have five legendaries total and three legendaries are still missing but it's very good guys hopefully i can get those soon but anyways yo yo this is amazing like it's so good to go from arena four to this like i just had what 25 cards unlocked and now i have 68 out of 71 we have the sparky the miner all of these op cards it is awesome i got this account at 3200 trophies and it has a maximum of 3700 trophies so far but basically i know this might sound really stupid what i'm doing is de-ranking back to arena one the purpose of doing this is so that i can make really cool arena one trolling videos for you guys with legendary cards i'm gonna make like one video for each legendary or something like that and i just want to make a little trolling series out of it in clash royale i think that'll be really fun and also it's going to help me understand the cards a lot more as i rank back up the first arena one trolling video will be with the sparky guys i'm going to like duplicate it and i don't even know i'm gonna make it really cool though i'm gonna get a bunch of sparkies in one spot and completely troll these new players but yeah, if you guys are excited for that, make sure to drop a like on this video. I heard if you drop a like, you will get the card you want in your next chest. If you want the bandit, you may just get it if you drop a like. And if it doesn't happen, I assure you that it will happen very soon. So with that out of the way, guys, I'm going to show you some of the matches I actually tried in. Obviously, since I'm deranking, I'm not really doing any real matches. But some of them I did try in and try to win. Uh, just for practice, basically. I mean, obviously, I did lose some of the ones I tried in, guys. I know I'm just going to show all of the wins. But I just want to show you guys how my current deck works. Some of it is modifications. Like, I'm not using this exact deck. But it's pretty close. I'm trying to use the Hog Rider as my main attack. But all of the cards are just 
very essential. You guys will see how a lot of them play into some of these matches, especially the Graveyard. Graveyard plays a very key role in facing someone with a Builder deck, as you will see in one of these matches. Okay, so I am doing commentary over these matches, guys. In the future, that will not happen. I'll do them live, of course, and especially for the trolling. That'll be really fun, and yeah. I'm sorry if I don't use all of the correct terms for the cards. I might just make up my own terms for what they are, guys. I'm sorry. There's like 40 new cards I've never seen before, so yeah. I'll get used to them eventually, probably within the next week. So what I like doing in the beginning is basically placing someone in the back. In that case, it was a Valkyrie, because I don't want to lose Elixir, and I'm trying to raid him on the left with my hog rider and goblin barrel guys i think that was a really good move on my part because i could just use the skeletal army on the right to counter his attack and i'm doing some really solid damage i took out his first crown tower on the left side which is just very very good that i was able to get such a quick lead on him without putting like any effort into that attack i mean it was just a strategic quick move and my log is just pushing his witch back i definitely know i'm going to use this valkyrie because the valkyrie is op against the witch the witch could definitely be quite good but the valkyrie can easily kill it and you gotta use a valkyrie to counter those witches so my valkyrie is just soaking up the damage of those like fireball things i forget what they're called exactly but yeah so he just placed that third building down and at this point in the game i've realized he's definitely using a building deck and I want to try to counter that immediately before he takes me out. So I'm using Hog Rider right now in the Goblin Barrels. I'm just trying to quickly do some damage on these buildings. And I'm going for the Graveyard. The Graveyard is serving as a brilliant distraction on his guys. Especially that Skeletal Giant or whatever. And his buildings are running out of time. Basically, they're doing a little bit of damage, not too much. But mainly as a distraction. And I would definitely not hesitate to call myself a spammer, guys. I'm using kind of a spamming deck. I mean, maybe I'm not. You guys let me know in the comments once again i am still very new but i think i have a pretty good spamming deck here i mean a lot of low elixir cards the hog rider it's it's pretty good so anyways i'm just battling off his like skeletal giant all of his guys from the buildings are actually getting ahead of me which is why i'm using the log like they're gonna beat me out if i don't use that log very often i gotta take advantage of it it's a very good card for only two elixir so my valkyrie is out here kind of distracting these guys once again because i am one crown tower ahead and I know if I defend myself for that long, then I will be good. I'm using a Hog Rider and Goblin Barrels on his main defense tower, like, or whatever it's called, main tower. But, yeah, it's doing some really solid damage, which is just making me feel a lot more comfortable. He has to also pay attention to that side, so we can't just spam buildings on one side. So, that definitely helps me out a lot. And I see I have my log again, which I'm going to definitely place. Like, I need to place that. It's so good. Taking out all of his guys, just completely wrecking them. And I still have a lot of elixir to defend myself. I'm just placing another hog rider on the left in order to scare him. And graveyard once again to make sure I have this win. I want to secure it because you know these guys can't do anything when it's getting distracted by the graveyard this place a goblin spamming valkyrie whatever i can it doesn't even matter because i won the match one tower ahead but it was a pretty solid match since i did a lot of damage on his main tower and there we go with the one star victory 18 gold not bad let's go okay so this match i found very interesting i'm not really sure what my opponent's plan was but they started off right away by using the graveyard i don't really know why i'm using the minion horde to counter it and it is i don't know it's not doing that much damage it's doing like a few hundred not too bad i guess but it's definitely not worth five elixir in the beginning of the game and i did get that split on my minion horde i'm using hog rider where there are four and also the log and goblins the log was supposed to attack like an army or something of skeletons if he used that but he didn't even try to counter it with anything to be honest like i don't even know what's happening i'm on his main tower right now uh he has like no defense i don't know what he's doing he's trying to raid me on my other side now but it's definitely not going to work because i'm using graveyard and goblin barrels again and that should be game. I'm just doing damage slowly. He takes out one of my crown towers, but it's definitely not going to be enough. And there we go with the three crown victory. I don't know if they're trying out like a new strategy or something, but it was obviously not successful. Anyways, that win is going to wrap up today's video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and comment if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new and make sure to also click the bell on the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload new videos. Lots of trolling videos coming soon. Let me know if you're hyped about those. And yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for all the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.